we spoke to some coaches at Exton Girls about the importance of grassroots for youngsters and the local communities. So I'm Antonia and I am mainly the under 11s coach. Um, I also manage the open age team so I make sure that all the games are set up and I play in the open age team as well. Um, recently I've been kind of helping the new under 11s coaches get to grips with how they do everything from how they set up uh, the teams on match day to how they select who, who's playing at the weekend if they've got too many players, who's playing, um, even like down to the tiny things of who do you text when you've got an issue, so things like that. I'm their go to person to answer questions. So I've been coaching within the club for four years, um, but before that, I played at the club, so I, played, I started at the club at under nines played all the way up to under 16s, left at under 16s because there wasn't an under 18s and then came back to come and coach. And it, it's always been football for me. I, like, I tried hockey, netball, things like that, but it has always kind of just been wanting to play football. So Exton Girls has just been the perfect place to be, really. Antonia told me how the club does a lot more than just teach girls how to play football. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, if, even, I, I'm so big on manners with my girls. If, if they want something, and they don't say please, it's no, nope, come on, <laughs> let's do it properly. So it's even just tiny things like that, but then making friends, social skills, and everything comes to this. Um, but we, we are really lucky that we've got such an amazing group of girls. There are other clubs around, but I, I do think that we're, we are very special, that we're just completely girls only. Um, and everyone that moves down loves it. Like, so we, we run the, a Wildcats Development Centre, so that's for, that starts at five. Um, so they literally from when they can go to school, come down to us and then they can be with us from five until now, forever. They can literally stay at the club, um, which I, I thought was really important. Because um, when, when I left, it was, where do I go now? I've never been at another club. Um, so when I came back, I was like, we really need to get this set up. We, we've got so many girls coming through. Why are we letting them go at the other end? We need to keep keep them around. It, we have 311 girls that are signed on with a waiting list as long as my arm of people waiting to come down and join a team. Uh, just in my team, I've got three players who come down training every week, but I can't sign them. I've not got enough space to sign them. The issue is volunteers. We need more volunteers in grassroots sports to be able to allow all of these children to play because they all want to play. A lot of them want to play, a lot of them keep going down, but we don't have enough volunteers, we don't have enough facilities to let them all play. I spoke to Club Secretary Michael Taylor about pushing grassroots sport within schools. One of the, I'm a big advocate of you, you, you can't just play one sport and you need to you need to have lots of options and, and lots of opportunities to play different ones, netball, basketball, whatever. Um, you know, and I, th I think schools is, is, is instrumental in that. Whatever, whatever they choose to do is, is down to them, but they, they need to have the access there and be able to go into all these different things. It's, it's massively important. Um, we're, the, we're the biggest uh, girls club in, in, in the county. So, you know, we've got currently well over 300 girls, 19 teams. Exposure is massive. Um, you definitely need that. And, and the Women's Euros will, will take care of a lot of, a lot of that this year. Um, the, the, another big thing is retention, um, keeping the girls and obviously, you know, bringing, bringing new girls in. Um, but facilities, funding, it's, it's, all, it's all a massive tangled web, but funding definitely. I also spoke to Michael about what Exton Girls does beyond football. But, you know, it's eating habits, you know, um, little things, going to bed early on a, on a Saturday night before a game on a Sunday. And a lot of these things they, they just learn from experience that, you, that, that it just doesn't work. And, and, you know, and it's like, and then they naturally, if they want to do it, they will do it and they'll, and they'll, uh, they'll go and do it. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of things, you know, getting on with teammates. Uh, you know, talking to people and, and coming out of the shells as well, and it's uh, yeah, it's complicated, but it's it's very worthwhile.